What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. I got one from Code Red today, one of my favorite labels. Um, this movie is so ridiculous. Um, this one is called Iron Master. This is in a Umberto Lindsay film. It's got George Eastman. Who doesn't love George Eastman, the big eight? Anyway, um, this is about George Eastman, and uh, he's next in line to uh, take control of his tribe. This is kind of like a, you know, a caveman type of movie. And anyway... Um, in a tragic accident, he ends up killing the shaman, which ends up kind of getting him um, exiled from the tribe. And this other guy comes in, Eli, and he looks like a, he is a gay, the guy who plays him is a gay porn star in real life. But he looks like an 80s hair metal guy, <clears throat> which is awesome. And anyway, he, uh, Eli kind of uh, sees his power at that point. So Voot is off in the wilderness, and through some bizarre weird weather he figures out how to make iron weapons <laughs> it's so stupid like it's absolutely ridiculous uh, but anyway so because he can forge iron weapons he of course becomes this powerful person he starts to amass his own little army to take back over the tribe uh, but Eli is of course not going to go down without a fight and the rest of the movie just kind of goes back and forth with you know who's going to emerge on top and who's going to take control of the tribe this movie is absolutely ridiculous um and I mean that in the best possible complimentary way. You've got a gay porn star, just jack ripped dude. Looks like he's off the cover of fucking heavy metal. And <laughs> he fucking fights a lion. He does all this weird shit. Uh, there's all these naked monkey men running around that have this really strange language. Uh, some of the chick gets her eyes scooped out. It's just, there's a lot of weird shit that happens in this. Um, aside from the monkey dick, there's not a lot of nudity in it, unfortunately. I did never thought, I even I never thought I would say a line like that, but there it is. Um, there's some blood, not a lot, just a little bit. There's like kind of a cool like smash on the head that's got like a cool uh, blood effect with it, but there's not a lot of blood. Um, once again, in this movie, there is some uh, stuff that involves real animals. Again, it's nothing extreme like Cannibal Holocaust, but I know... For myself, I get nervous when real animals are involved, and I'm sure other people do too. But it's it's not too uh, it's not too bad. But if you're extremely sensitive to that, uh, just be aware that there is some uh, there are real animals used in this movie. Um, aside from that, it's just kind of an action oriented movie. Um, it's got some fun fight scenes. It's got some weird fight scenes. I mean, the guy, a gay porn star fights a lion. What else do you? What else do you want from a movie? If that's not enough to make you see this movie, I don't know what else to do. A gay porn star fights a lion. I mean, that's... I don't know. But anyway, um, this one's from Code Red, of course. Of course, um, It's got a new HD master, and uh, they did a lot of color correction on it. It's got new interviews with some of the people. Uh, the transfer looks amazing. Um, I haven't seen the 88 Films one, so I don't know how it stacks up, but I know 88's used a lot of the code red stuff without or like under shady circumstances or whatever at least that's what bill claims uh, but this one looks really good i cannot imagine anyone ever thought it would look this good this is a triumph from code red to give us such a weird movie with such a great looking transfer um i as far as recommending the movie anybody who likes weird 80s movies has got to check this out it is uh, very over the top very strange very surreal even at times uh you know, gay porn star fights a lion. George Eastman discovers how to make uh, iron weapons through weird weather events. Naked monkey men. If this doesn't sell you on it, I don't know what will. The iron Master, definitely worth a look. And it is number 91 in the Code Red library. Um, if you like this review, make sure to check out my site, markfusion.com. I got a lot of Code Red reviews there. Uh, probably at least 100 by now, by the time you see this video. Um... I don't know what anybody else to say. Just check out my site. <laughs> I'm also on Twitch, Twitter, and uh, Instagram at Mark Fusion. You can see what I've got coming up soon. And you can also come talk to me on my Twitch channel. I'll talk to you about movies, even though I'm playing video games. And that's it. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, I'll see you soon.